colourful and flamboyant, a confirmed bachelor, <laughs> and his tastefully directed hairdresser's residence in Norway, Georgia Street. We're joined here with one of Ireland's most well-known, colourful and outspoken public figures, Senator David Norris. He's been a member of the Irish Senate, Shannon since 1987. Thank you for joining us, Senator. Thank you for coming, Bill. And can I just tell you about since 1987, uh, on November the 5th, uh, I became the longest continuously serving Senator ever. Uh, and I rather liked that because it was Guy Fawkes night, uh, the night that they tried to blow up the Parliament, so I thought it was rather appropriate. Because I went in, in 1987, on the slogan, Vote Number One Norris for an End to the Quiet Life in the Senate. And I think I delivered on that. Now this comes to my first question I wanted to ask you. Um, how do you think Irish politics has changed since you initially started in politics? Well, I think that there is much less respect for politicians now. Uh, when I was young, politicians were treated with deference. I mean, there were figures like Johnny Costello, uh, Mr. De Valera, um, James Dillon. These were people who, they were, there was a certain glamour about them, and they were treated with great respect. Nowadays, uh, interviewers on radio and television, they see themselves as being much more important than the politician that they are interviewing, and they constantly harass, harangue, interrupt, shout out, and blackguard politicians. I wouldn't stand for it. Do you think, though, that it's important to have a, a certain level of scepticism towards politicians to hold them to account, though? Well, I don't know why there should be natural scepticism, but I, I think, yes, holding, them to, holding people to account uh, and testing their ideas against their action, what they say against what they do, I think that's very important. But why can't it be done in a more polite fashion? without hectoring, without abuse, and without ignorant bad behaviour. Um, you know, there are, there are ways of asking really serious questions that don't need to be, don't need to be offensive. Mm -hmm.